Hey guys, today I want to show you one of my most unusual twisty puzzles so far. It is called the Hexcentrics. So here we go. As I said, this puzzle is quite strange and unusual uh, compared to the things I usually make. Now let me explain. First of all, this puzzle has one peculiarity. The faces are basically pillowed, but then again, it also has flat faces. That's the first part. Now, the second part is that this puzzle has curvy cuts, reverse curvy cuts up here, and flat cuts. And it also uses a shells mechanism, uh, because there are two layers of puzzle uh, in this puzzle. So basically there's a corner turning hexagonal prism, and on top of it there's this puzzle. Now this is the equivalent of a corner turning deeper cut hexagonal prism, but I fissured it so that it looks edge turning, like that. Um, so. The reason why I made this is that I wanted some, you know, I wanted a puzzle that has a lot of the the, the things we usually see on twisty puzzles, uh, 3D printed or not. And so I made a puzzle with flat cuts, uh, sorry, with flat faces, pillowed faces, curvy cuts, reverse curvy cuts, and flat cuts, and a shells mechanism. So this is the result, and I think it looks really beautiful. Uh, so let's see how it turns. So this is the the turning you get on this puzzle. So it looks like it's an edge turner, but it act, it's actually uh, the equivalent of a corner turner. So this is what you get. Now, if you look at the symmetries, you get this that's symmetrical to that. So if you go all the way here, you'll notice that you can actually turn it like that. Sorry, getting a bit of a lockup here. Uh, this is the first time I get a lockup on this puzzle. Um, for some reason it has to happen while I film the video, that's always how it happens. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so that's the first type of, uh, of shape-shifting and uh, jumbling. So, let's see. Now I've got um, a second type. You can see that this row of five pieces here is symmetrical to this one. So if I do this turn here, then I can also turn this, like that. So that's the second type of turning. Uh, I don't know if you can turn anything after doing that, but uh, what's what's sure is that you can bring it, like for example, all the way here. And um, although I'm not even sure you can do that, uh, I'm discovering this at the same time as you are. So uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what this puzzle is capable of, to be honest. Um, but let's go with another symmetry. Now this is something that's uh, that only happens on uh, corner turning hexagonal prisms. Now you see this is symmetrical to that, so obviously when you do this turn here, you're going to be able to also turn this face here. But what's peculiar about this is that you can also, instead of um, putting this uh, large set of pieces here, you can also put that little one here, and uh, it's actually equivalent, so you can keep on turning this. And uh, what's really cool is that you can also uh, turn this. So now you get some crazy jumbling, and you can keep on turning it like that, and so yeah, yeah, it gets pretty crazy uh, pretty fast. So let me see if I can go backwards. Um, also, uh, a lot of people ask me just you know, this is a parenthesis. A lot of pe people ask me why I didn't uh, scramble the 11 by 11, the twisted one. And the reason is that I don't have time to solve it. And um, I, I wish I did, but I have the YouTube channel, I have a full-time 40 hours per week job, and I just opened a company. So this is going to be quite difficult. It's going to be an, an online, uh, an online uh, commerce. So basically it's uh, online sales and everything. So, so I don't really have any time for myself. Um, well, I, I, I do have time for myself, but I, I spend it with my girlfriend, so I don't want to just I don't want to use that time to to solve puzzles. I already have a lot a lot of time um, for twisty puzzles, and uh, I'm not going to use that time to solve large puzzles. But maybe in the future, if I ever you know get a uh, you know make make my uh, my company full time, uh, then maybe and we'll see. But that's that's in the future. That's not for now. So back to the topic. Uh, let's see. I, I'm I'm just gonna get a few moves done on this puzzle so you can you guys can see what it looks like when it's uh, partially scrambled. Let's see. I can still move that. Um, I can do this. Turn it like that, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it gets 
scrambled quite fast and it looks pretty crazy so I'm not gonna go any further because I do want to be able to solve it and uh, well actually that's not even the main reason I, I, I do know how to disassemble it so it, it shouldn't be a problem but the thing is um, usually when I scramble puzzles it takes a long a, lo a lot more time than I wish it would uh, because I don't you know, I get confused and I don't really know what turns where. It's it, These jumbling puzzles are very confusing. So it actually makes the video less interesting because you... Well, you know, I'm hesitating. Uh, there's there's some issues with, um, with uh, me not knowing where the parts are supposed to go. Sorry, I just had a sticker that came off. I'll have to super glue that one back on. Uh, anyways, yeah, I, I I don't think it's it's as interesting. If if I'm wrong, please tell me. But uh, I feel like every time I, I I turn and I don't know how it turns, I hesitate, and the videos may be less active and less entertaining. I I, I don't know. That's my uh, that's how I feel. Um, but if if it's not the case, maybe I can I can scramble them a, a, a bit more often. But uh, this one, I'm not gonna scramble it any more than I showed you. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here because I think I've I've pretty much said it all. Um, again, not selling this puzzle as always, but maybe in a few weeks um, or a month or two, I don't know, uh, maybe I'm going to be selling my puzzles again, all of them. So I don't know yet. I'll tell you more when I know more. Uh, it, it doesn't just depend on me, so I'll, I'll let you know. So yeah. Alright guys, I hope you like the Hexcentrics. I've got plenty more 3D printed puzzles coming quite soon. So feel free to subscribe, like my social networks, and I'll see you in the next video.